Hello and welcome to episode 5. In the first episode I talked about the plans for the project, the second episode I did the baseboard and the electronics, in the third episode I mounted the motor up nice and high, and in the last episode I made the link arm mechanism which I'm super chuffed about. In this week's episode I'm going to talk about the balls and the scale that I've actually finally decided on, then I'm going to start to mount some track on the arm and do a the pickup system to collect the ball from the bottom of the sculpture. And I'm going to kind of make a prototype positioning system for that before I do the real drilling into the baseboard. So let's get started with balls and scale. So in the first episode I talked about the size of the balls and I had these glass marbles. They're really cheap and I bought 40 of them and I've been measuring them and weighing them. And the variation is so great that I just don't think I can use them. Some of the smaller balls to the bigger balls is a difference of over one millimetres. They also don't weigh very much and for that reason I don't like them. I think they're very pretty, I think they're very nice, I think they look quite nice on the copper. But the variation I think is too much for me to make a system that is reliable. So I have decided to get rid of those and instead I get into these. These are five eighths stainless steel balls. They are more expensive, they're about £2.40 each, and they are properly ground and manufactured um, so that the difference in size, there's, there's only a, something like a thou or a couple of microns difference between all of the balls. That means they all weigh the same and they've all got nice surface finish and they're all going to behave in a predictable manner. So if this ball goes down, followed by this ball, followed by this ball, they're all going to behave on the track in exactly the same way. So that's less variation going in. So let's talk about the track scale. This is the piece that I've made as a bit of a prototype. The distance between one side and the other is 12 millimetres. And this is a 5 eighths ball, so that what's that, 15.8 or something, 15.57, can't remember. So the 5 eighths ball and the 12 mil track is what I'm going for. So that's all I need to say on the balls and the scale. A little bit different to what I had on the first episode. So now let's get on and look at the track on arm. There we go, all the pieces soldered on and nice and solid. So that'll be the bit that holds the track. And I've got it now that this comes down, it does a vertical line and then comes forward and then up. And so the ball will be presented about here somewhere when I've done that. But I think the next thing to do will be to make a little bit of double track that comes down here. I quite like the idea of the ball rolling down the arm. Right, here's the first bit of track, a bit of a ski jump thing, and what I'm doing now is just setting this height. Now I'm trying to decide how high to make this. Send it down. Okay, I'm going to say 25.
And I don't know what to do next. I can either turn the corner and come down here, or I can work on the picking up system. I think this has to come first. I'll do the picking up system first and just know that at some point I will deal with whatever goes on up here. So, on to the picking up system. Bit of a disaster going on here. I've made a little curved track that comes in that's got a stop at the bottom so when the ball comes down it's presented quite nicely and the idea is that these fingers here come in either side of this, this bottom stop and pick the ball up from the approaching shoot. But it doesn't work. The mistake I made was that these fingers are too short. So I've got a feeling that I'm going to replace these two tracks and leave, I don't know, a good inch sticking out. Then I can play with picking the balls up. So that's the next job. Replacement. <laughs> it's only the first day and I'm already getting it wrong. There we go, nice new track attached at this end. New space in the middle. And turn on there. I decided to do it upside down, so hopefully I get it all nice and square. And hopefully that will solve the problem. Right, let's get it back on there. Excellent, I'm really happy. I'm now going to measure the height of this ball and mark the exact position of where it needs to be. Then I can get rid of this temporary piece of wood and drill into the baseboard to set some vertical copper supports in, which will be very tall because they'll stay there forever and hopefully do lots of other jobs. In other words, it's time to make it permanent. <laughs>